Semi-ripe cuttings are taken from September to October and they're ideal for plants that can't be taken, maybe you can't, they're not very successful if you sow them from seed or you can't do softwood cuttings earlier in the year. And a semi-ripe cutting, you're looking for plant material that's sort of quite hard and woody at the bottom and then very soft at the top. And you always choose a non-flowering shoot. So in this case, we're doing penstemons because they're a lovely plant and it's worth doing if you want extra plants to bulk up your supply of say a plant you really really love and it costs you nothing so if we look here because people get worried about this kind of thing let's just look at our growth here and I'll show you which, which bits you really want to take for your cuttings well this is obviously a no-no it's flowering so we won't use that here's another one just about to make a little flower we don't want to use that but if we go to the side here we see lots of nice vigorous fresh growth it's quite stiff at the bottom and you can see that top is very very floppy and that's perfect for our cutting material so you need a clean pair of secateurs you can use scissors make sure they are clean though because you can spread infection and you want to nip off now I'm going to do this very slowly so you can see the wood from the tree so to speak you want to nip off something that's about 10 centimeters long like that and just make one clean cut doesn't matter if it's sloping or straight there you go and that's what you end up with now you can do several of these from around the plant and you'll end up with several plants that all are exactly identical to this plant the flower color will be the same the size and shape will be exactly the same so it's almost a replica well it not almost it is an exact replica of the plant you're taking the cutting from so it's a very reliable way of getting new plants exactly like your loved plants in the garden so I'm going to take a few whilst I'm here because I'd like to give some plants to friends and I need some for other areas in the garden so just take them off now the best time to take cuttings is in the morning when the plant's sort of turgid and full of water and the sun hasn't been on it and what I've done is I've just got a plastic bag and I don't know if you can see I filled it with a little splash of water in there and you just pop your cuttings in there and it just keeps them fresh and stops them from drying out until you're ready to pop them up so I'll take a couple more from here another one and as you get more confident about your cutting material, you'll do these very, very quickly and very, very easily. You'll be doing speed semi-ripe cuttings in no time. So put them all in your bag. That's enough for me at the moment. And I shall show you now how to pot your cutting up and grow it on into a mature okay. plant. So you've got your bag of cuttings and it's normally useful to just pop them in the shade until you're ready to use them. So here's my penstemon cutting and the first thing I want to do is again I just want to identify this for you because I know it's really difficult when you've never done this before. Can you see that that is not that bendy it's quite stiff and that bit is completely bendy so that's probably going to wilt so we not lop the top off like that don't be afraid that's what we're doing and then you turn your cutting to the bottom and you're just going to cut underneath a leaf node like that there's the leaf node a node is the little bud under the leaves okay just going to cut that off like that and then what you're going to do now you can either do this with secateurs or you can do it very gently with your fingers I do it with my fingers you're going to strip off those leaves like that like that until you're left with just that now that is actually your cutting now if you have a very big leaf cutting this isn't too bad um, plants will lose water through their leaves first so what I tend to do just to be on the safe side is I cut the leaf in half it's not absolutely imperative with a cutting with a leaf this size but if it's a very big leaf cutting it's quite useful and it's 
it helps the plant root without losing too much moisture through the leaves. So that's your cutting. It really is as simple as that. And that's about, I suppose, eight centimetres. So it's lost two centimetres from the original cutting. And I'm just going to show you that against the original cutting so you can see again what we did. There you go. Before, we lopped off the top. We cut beneath a leaf, a leaf node and then we stripped off everything but the top two leaves and we were left with that and then I cut those leaves in half just to reduce the moisture loss. Now then, all you need is a pot full of good, clean, fresh co uh, potting compost. You can use um, homemade compost or you can use multi-compost and then with a dibber, this time a pen I'm using, you want to... now pop that into your compost. Now you can use um, rooting powder, hormone rooting powder, in which case you can buy that from a garden centre. You pop it into your hormone rooting powder and you tap the excess off. So you don't want a lot of rooting powder. However, it's not imperative. It might help them to root quicker, but they root very, very easily without it. So the, the choice is yours. Use it or don't use it. Pop it in your cutting about half the length of the cutting and then very, very firmly but gently make sure that soil is pressed in at the base of that cutting like that. Now at this time of year, as the summer's coming to an end and autumn is here, you'll get the best results using a heated propagator. Um, they're pretty cheap. You can buy one for about £20. And if you put your pots into your heated propagator, it retains the warmth at the base of the plant. It keeps the soil warm and that really helps your cutting to root more quickly. So if you can afford a heated propagator, you really won't regret it. It's a great purchase and you'll use it all spring and all autumn and you really will get great results. Otherwise you could just put a plastic bag over this and leave it on a warm uh, windowsill and as long as there aren't drafts or the temperature really falls in the evening. Um, but at this time of year, you know, the nights are getting chilly and they need a bit of protection. So pot up as many as you like, one cutting, two cuttings, three cuttings. And by spring of next year, around April, May, you'll have a mini plant. Again, as I said, identical to the plant you took the cutting from, all ready to plant out in the final uh, planting position.